colored pencils have different properties that allow us to create different effects using different techniques. In this video, we are going to cover different techniques that you can use for almost any coloring pencil. I'm Najib from Relax and Reset, where we teach you how to relax and color. Over here, we have just a regular piece of paper, and we're going to be using a poppy red Prismacolor pencil, but you can use any coloring pencil. Now what we're going to start to do is create directional lines or hatching. These are all parallel lines using the same pressure. Now you can create the same effect by bringing the lines closer to each other. And because we're going from one direction to the other direction, we're going to get a more consistent look throughout the entire page. Now, the other thing that we can do is do cross hatching, which is basically the exact same thing as the hatching that we have done above. But this time, we're going to go perpendicular to it and add another layer that crosses. And that's where the name comes from, cross hatching. This allows us to get a more richer color, as well as getting a different effect by using this technique, as you can see here. Now, we're going to be doing just a straight line that goes zigzag from one side to another. And this up and down technique creates a more consistent look, but that's slightly different from the hatching technique that we have done up top. Now these are just with lines, and now if we wanted to add more layer and more depth to this techniques, what we would do is just add another layer on top of the up and down technique. So it's going to be combining what we've done above of using the cross hatching with the up and down technique. And this allows us to get a bit more richer color using different effect, all by using only one coloring pencil. We're going to take this one step further. And using these techniques, we're going to start off with stippling. Now stippling is basically little points or stipples. And what happens is you can do it in two different ways. One is you can when you're pressing down, you create tiny little circles, or you can just press and tap on the paper itself. And as you start to do this, as you start to vary the space between the points, you can start to get a different layer and even fading out technique. So as we go towards the right, you are going to start to get less and less and more sparse points. But on the left side, they're going to be more tightly packed. And as we start to do this over time, we'll start to get the effect of the large part of the color on one side, and it slowly will start to fade towards the other. Now, as we adjust the camera so you can see it better, we're getting a vary of effect using the stippling technique. Now, what we're going to be doing is use tiny little circles or circling to create the effect. Now, this effect is a very simple technique. And if we use using the same amount of pressure, we'll create a different texture on the paper itself. At the same time, we can also create larger circles where we don't necessarily have to overlap. And this allows us to create more of a texture that's better for such as curly hair. We can also use a random pattern such as this, and this will allow us to get effects and textures that would work great on trees. 
And overall, here are the different techniques that we cover to create different effects using colored pencils. So leave a comment below and let us know what you've learned. The best discussion happens on our website at relaxandreset.com. So go there and leave a comment. If you've liked the video, subscribe and share with your friends. For even more resources, as well as free coloring pages every month, head on over to relaxandreset.com and sign up for our email updates. As always, hope you relax and reset today.